Welcome to our exciting journey into the world of geometry. In this video, we will learn about the most basic ideas of geometry, including points, lines, rays, and line segments. These are the building blocks that will help us understand more complex shapes and figures in the future. Let's start with one of the simplest, yet most important concepts in geometry, the point. A point may seem small, but it plays a huge role in building all other shapes and lines in geometry. Ready to explore how powerful a tiny point can be? A point is like a tiny dot. It represents a specific location, but does not have any size. In other words, a point determines a precise location, but it has no length, breadth, or height. Imagine the tip of a sharp pencil, or the tip of a compass, or the end of a needle. These are examples of points. Points are usually labeled with capital letters like Z, P, or T. Now, let's explore how we can name and identify points on a piece of paper. If you mark some points, you may need to distinguish between them. To do this, we use single capital letters like M, N, Q, T, or R. For example, these points can be read as point M, point N and point Q, and so on. These dots represent precise locations. Even though we can see them as small marks on the screen, we must imagine them to be invisibly thin. Now let's take a look at the line segment, a basic yet essential part of geometry. A line segment connects two points with the shortest path between them. Are you excited to discover what makes a line segment special? A line segment is the shortest path connecting two points. It has two endpoints. Think of a crease on a folded paper. That's a great example of a line segment. If we connect points A and B with a line, we call it segment AB or BA. We can represent the line segment as AB or BA. It is denoted with a line at the top of the capital letters AB or BA. Let's mark two points, P and Q, on a sheet of paper. Now try connecting point P to point Q using different routes. But what is the shortest route from P to Q? The shortest path connecting these two points is called the line segment from P to Q. This includes both point P and point Q. We can write it as PQ or QP. P and Q are the endpoints of this line segment. Let's take a look at this figure. It consists of connected line segments starting at point L and ending at point R. The points along the path are labeled as M, P, and Q. Now let's name the line segments. The segments are LM, MP, PQ, and QR. Next, let's identify which of the five points are on exactly one line segment. Points L and R are on only one segment each, LM and QR respectively. Now which points are on two segments? Points M, P, and Q are on two segments. M lies on both LM and MP. P lies on MP and PQ, and Q lies on PQ and QR. Let's dive into an exciting concept in geometry, the line. A line is quite different from a line segment. While a segment has two clear endpoints, a line stretches out infinitely in both directions without ever stopping. Imagine this. If you draw a line through two points, say X and Y, and let your imagination soar as it continues forever, you've just created a line. Now here's something cool. Since a line goes on forever, we can't actually draw the entire thing. To represent its endless nature, we use arrows at both ends. For example, the line passing through points X and Y can be written as XY with a double arrow above it. And sometimes we use small letters like L or M to name the line. Isn't it fascinating how something can go on forever in geometry? Imagine marking a single point on a piece of paper. Now, how many lines can you draw that pass through this point? Think about it. Can there be just one, or is there more? In fact, you can draw an infinite number of lines through a single point, all going in different directions. Now, imagine marking two points on a piece of paper. How many different lines can you draw that pass through both of these points? The answer is simple. There's only one unique line that can pass through both points. Now, let's draw a figure to show two lines, OP and OQ, meeting at point O. Imagine these lines extending in both directions, but they share a common point at O. Let's draw a figure to illustrate this scenario. We have a line labeled L, which passes through points E and F. 
However, point D is not on the line. Now let's draw a figure where point P lies on the line AB. Start by drawing a straight line and label it AB. Then mark a point P somewhere on this line between points A and B and label everything clearly to complete the illustration. Let's explore an exciting new idea in geometry, the ray. A ray is like a beam of light that starts at one point and stretches out forever in just one direction, just like the light from a lighthouse or the rays of the sun or the rays from the torchlight. In this case, point M is the starting point of the ray and it continues through point N. Ready to dive into the world of rays? Let's take a look at the figure on the screen. From point T, two rays begin, ray TA and ray TB. Notice that point N lies between T and B on ray TB. Now, can you tell if T is the starting point of both rays? Yes, it is. Both ray TA and ray TB begin at T and extend in different directions. However, for the ray NB, T is not the starting point. Let's look at ray OA in the figure on the screen. It starts at O, passes through B, and continues through A. Now here's the first question. Can we also name the ray as OB? Yes, we can, because the ray starts at O and passes through both A and B. Since O is the starting point, both OA and OB represent the same ray. Next, can we write OA as AO? No, we can't. A ray must always be named starting with its origin, so it has to be written as OA with O as the starting point. Let's examine the figure on the screen. Here we see ray XY and line PQ intersecting at point M. Notice that ray XY starts at X and passes through Y, while line PQ extends infinitely in both directions. The key here is that both the ray and the line cross each other at point M. This is an important example of how rays and lines can interact in geometry. Let's check out this figure together. In the figure, we have five points, D, E, O, B on the line and A and C on the rays. The line is line D, B, which extends infinitely in both directions. Can you spot any four rays? We can see four rays, O, A, O, B, O, C, and O, D. Can you spot any five line segments on the figure? There are also five line segments, D, E, E, O, O, B, O, A, and O, C. Fantastic job! You've learned some really important geometry concepts. You explored points, which are like tiny dots that mark specific locations. You learned about line segments, which are straight parts of a line with two endpoints. You also discovered lines, which extend forever in both directions, and rays, which start at one point and go on forever in one direction. You didn't just learn these concepts, you also solved some fun problems using them. That's awesome! The more you practice, the better you'll understand these ideas. Keep exploring and practicing, and soon you'll be a geometry expert. Remember, every problem you solve helps you get even better at understanding how geometry work. Thanks for watching. Keep up the great work and have fun with your learning.